Hi you guys, welcome to August's installment of the Oh So Inspired collaboration hosted by Alicia who is Call Me Crafty Al here on YouTube. As always, you will find the um, Inspiration Project and the rest of the collab members um, listed down below. So go back and check them out so you can see what we all worked on. So um, in case you haven't seen the, um, the Inspiration Project, it's basically a card. It's a fall card and it has... Um, a leaf, um, like uh, like a die was used to take it out, and then they used that part of the the, um, the leaf that was cut out on the card. So what I decided to do was a um, fall themed um, recipe um, cookbook junk journal type thing, and um, I made mine a shaker part. So um, this right here is the shaker, and then I used the um, mason jar that I cut out and just um, layered some really cute fall um, paper on it and put it on the side of it. So there is my shaker and I did all fall colors. Um, I tried to match up with the paper as much as I could. Um, on the rings I just have really cute um, wide brown um, lace that I tied on there and then on um, each ring, there's two rings, um, I just did this like um, kind of cream color um, satin ribbon really wide and made cute little bows so that's what that looks like so there is my shaker and it just says baking on there and I wrapped some um, rickrack around the um, neck of the mason jar so the, co the covers are uh, chipboard and they are the same um, this pattern on one side and then the inside the really cute um, pumpkins on that blue. I love it. So inside um, I have made these before and I have shared. I love making these and it just has uh, blank pieces of paper, um, different colored card stock. Sometimes I use um, index cards and recipe cards. I didn't have any um, fall recipe cards so I did not include um, any of those this time. And then I do like putting these vintage um, recipes that I collect. Um, I did only things that I thought would be good for like Thanksgiving dinner, you know, rolls, um, apple pies, things like that. So um, there's one right there. And they're just kind of stashed in there. And then here's some more paper. Um, here is a, another one of them cards. And then I did some more um, chipboard on the inside, just certain sections, and so you can write some um, notes here or recipe ideas. I lightly embellished the inside. I love this burlap flower that I had in my stash. I just cut a, um, I folded a mint green bluish um, doily. I kind of wanted it to match that leaf right there, and I think it, it did that. And um, I made a pocket and I have these two um, mason jar tags and I have a thicker rickrack right here and a gold um, satin ribbon right there tuck those in there same things over you know just papers and different recipes this one is festive relishes and I love it because it's kinda got like those fall um, colored um, dry flowers right there so it's got that, and then this is another bread recipe. This one says cozy fall day. Really, really cute. Then on the other side, I just have a wood veneer here. That's an acorn. And give thanks, and then write your um, thoughts right there. Again, some more paper to write down recipes. Um, this is a cheese appetizer wheel. This one says home cook goodness. It's got an apple pie. Another journaling spot right there. Um, I've got two um, leaf uh, veneers and a blue flower to match the blue leaves on this paper. More blank papers to write your recipes. And this is a butterscotch um, round recipe card. And more papers. And then... Um, this says gather with grateful hearts and then same concept over and over so this is um, not as thick as I usually make them um, but it is still kind of thick and so let me show you again the 
shaker mason jar, which is the whole point of this project. I think it came out super cute. I had a lot of fun making it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, go and check out everybody else's projects. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.